Hey folks, in uh, what's the name of the town? Port, Port Jefferson. Jefferson. Port Long Jefferson, Island. Long Island, New York today. Here with Cecil of uh, Sea Eagle. We're getting ready to, to test out his fish skiff with the uh, Torquedo Cruise 2.0. And then I think a little bit later, we'll look at it with the, the Travel 1003C. Uh, but I'm gonna let Cecil kind of tell you a little bit about this boat and maybe touch on some other boats that uh, that he has uh, for, for kayak fishermen, but just fishermen in general. Hello, I'm uh, the president of Sea Eagle Boats. Uh, this uh, boat, the Sea Eagle Fish Skiff, is a new boat for us. It's a roll-up transom boat that can take up to a six horsepower uh, gas motor or up to a cruise two electric motor. Uh, it goes uh, 17 miles an hour with a gas motor and we're out here testing to see how fast it goes with a cruise two. We have a number of different inflatable boats over 30 different models. Uh, many are designed specifically for fishing as is this boat. Thank you. Okay, we uh, we got it out here, out from the uh, the dock a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and let it rip and see what uh, what this combination of the Sea Eagle Fish Skiff with the Cruise 2.0 and one power 26 104 battery will do in terms of top end speed. Six four, six eight. Seven and a half mile an hour. Yeah, seven and a half is our maximum. You know, we're, we're actually going into the wind, so it might do a little bit better. I think one of the advantages of this particular design is it's a flat bottom hull. It's not a V hull, so that is really efficient with a displacement model as opposed to a planing model. Yeah, we're. Seven and a half miles per hour, so pretty good, pretty good speed. We're gonna go ahead and, and I guess craft all of the different, you know, the different wad draw and different speed to give you an idea of what kind of range you can expect um, with each speed. So just to give you an idea how we we calculate range, the the motor actually does it for you because it has the GPS unit in it and it uses that to to look at how much power is still remaining in the battery and the watt draw uh, that you're asking it with the with the throttle to get up to that speed. But to give you an idea, obviously I'm gonna graph it here and I'll, I'll have that displayed. Um, well, let's just get it up to, you know, a nice cruising speed. We got up to seven and a half mile per hour before, but uh, I'm at 5.2 miles per hour, which is a nice speed, and we have 32 miles of range at 5 mile an hour. So I think this is, is a very good combination in terms of, you know, an efficient, lightweight boat that's good for electric propulsion and obviously a very powerful motor uh, with a large battery to give you a lot of range to, uh, to fish wherever you want to fish. Some of the other cool features that come with the, the fish skiff, obviously, you know, you're, you have the seat here, but they, they put the, um, the Scotty rod holders right on there. So you got a couple of those. I got one on either side here. Looks like I got two more. So each, each angler has uh, two rod holders. Right now I got a, um, a rod in, uh, just, just trolling for hopefully some striper up here. We'll see. But um, you got your, your rulers here so when we do catch a striper we can tell that it's well as long as it's not over 40 inches we'll know how long it is it might happen up here in, on long island all right we've changed locations and uh, i'm out here with cecil on what's actually the prototype of of the fish skiff so he's got some interesting interesting things going on this obviously we have an awning i'm gonna let him tell you a little bit more about what's going on with this boat. We've rigged up this uh, fish skiff with a canopy and a solar panel to recharge the battery in the uh, uh, Torquedo motor. We have a 1003 Torquedo motor on it. Uh, it's rigged to, uh, and I've been using this configuration for about five weeks now. Uh, the uh, boat goes at full power at around 
six miles an hour with the 1003 motor. If you go at half power, uh, it goes uh, four miles an hour, uh, considering the fact that you're using half the uh, electric power, it means that you have much greater range at half power than you do at full power. And, and I'll go ahead and map out, we'll get our, our watt draw at each mile per hour, I'll map that out with what your range is with the, um, the Travel 1003C, that has the 915 watt hour battery, so we should see some pretty good ranges.